Hey guys and welcome back to another stream. It has been a couple of days. Um, I, for anybody who doesn't know I, why I wasn't out for a while, a couple of days on Thursday night. I was um, Thursday. I was out in the hospital. Had some work done on my tonsils. Uh, worked on cheese. Yeah, I got my tonsils beautified, and uh, they did some work on one of them. And um, so I wasn't able to really talk a lot and do a lot in the last few days. But I think I'm kind of getting around to being able to hopefully today. Um, do at least one or two streams we'll see how it goes um if i get uh, any problems i will leave it there and we're gonna keep it short but we'll go from there we'll see how it goes anyway supermarket simulator that kind of came out of nowhere uh, it came out on the 22nd of february i seen it pop up here and there and uh, i like simulation games and i did look at it before but I never really took the time to play it and I saw it's kind of blowing up on Steam and it's like 94% I believe positive ratings over 12,000 reviews and I'm like okay what is so good about this game so I started playing it the other night and I couldn't stop playing it I just it's just absolutely addictive gameplay loop and it's fantastic and everything seems to just really nicely flow so we're gonna have a look at it and see what it's all about for everybody else who hasn't played it yet so we're gonna overwrite my current save and start a new game. Michelle, how are you, Kona? Welcome to the stream. So there's actually no music in the game. Uh, it was just on the menu. So, um, but yeah, if the talking becomes uh, too difficult, um, I will just keep it more quiet um, and not talk as much, but we'll see how it goes. I have to try it at some point. So we start a new supermarket here and where we have to purchase good, goods and sell them like you do with any supermarket. Controls are very simplistic. The whole game is actually very simplistic, and I think that is why it makes it uh, so much fun to play. So we start off with our little computer here. Um, it gives us a little bit of a tutorial over there on the left where my face is over it. It just says, you know, go access your computer. We have our money on the right. Uh, that's what we start with. And we have a couple of shelves in our shop, and that's pretty much it, and a checkout. Um, we can move the checkout around if we want to. Um, I don't know if we can do that actually straight in the beginning. Let me see. No, we can't really do that right now. Okay. So um, it probably won't let us do it in the beginning. There's storage here, which I don't have access to yet because I have to pay for it. And we have a light switch, which I believe will start costing us electricity if we're using it. So there's a couple of nice little touches to it. Um, you're playing it right now. Oh, that's great, Michelle. I I'm really I'm really enjoying it so far. I got to the point where I was just about to do my first high end. I thought, no, I want to play it, you know, um, on stream and see how it goes. Kona, um, how am I doing? I'm doing well. Um, this throat still is a bit sore, but um, it, it is as good as it's gonna get. So there's there's no damage I can do to it. It's just pain, as the doctors always say. Just gets through the pain. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So we just keep ourselves plenty hydrated. So let's have a look and see what products we have. We have some cereals, we have some sliced bread, some flour, some oil, some pasta, some sugar. Now the game is very extensive. You can actually buy licenses for a ton of more products once you reach the required store levels. And once you reach the required store levels and you unlock these products, you get you can put more and more on shelves. Some are for freezers, some are for shelves, some are for, um, um, I think, uh, fridges. So there's a lot more to the game than you start off with, but you slowly unlock it. Um, you also have to start paying bills then, especially if you have people that you hire. You can start hiring people at certain store levels. Um, you can start expanding the size of your shop so you can put more shelves in and more units and more cash registers. Um, you can purchase storage, which I haven't done yet. So I haven't really saved up to that amount of money. And customization is something they don't have in the game yet. So, But that's the basic logic. Sell, make some money. Um, buy licenses for more products, start making your shop bigger, make more money, and so on and so on. We all like money. We can take a loan out if we want. Um, I remember pl playing a lot of games like this in the, in the past, and the first thing you always did was take a loan out. The first thing you did, take a loan out, make everything big. Yeah. So I'm kind of tempted to do that here as well, actually. But um, what would that cost me daily? 5750 So if I would take a loan out straight away, That would be very expensive, isn't it? Over 25 days. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to do that because we used to do that a lot with simulation games in, uh, uh, back in the days, like the 90s and all that, when they all came out. One of my favorite uh, simulation games um, that I played was called Kaiser. It was a German game um, where it was all about running a kingdom and all about you know buying mills and corn. And it was really weird, but it was a great game. 
so let's go um let's start off we're not going to take out a loan we can start off with a couple of products so we could do cereal but i mean sliced bread would be good to start off with and some flour and some pasta and can we afford also doing some oil yeah there we go 44 very good so we're just gonna go with that purchase that and that's all our money gone now when it comes to setting the prices on these games yeah the way this game works is there is a market price which goes up and down so we're gonna have a look at this now in a minute so let's take some of these out let's put them into the shelves I love these animations as well. Um, I keep one of the boxes usually around um, simply because um, you can't really right now without a box move items around. So say I have a, uh, some of the items here and some of the items here and I want to merge them into a single shelf uh, during the day to clean them up or something to make room for other things. I need a box. So if I don't have a box, I can't do that. And you need the right box for the right product. Now, one of the things that I've seen on the roadmap is that the developer is working on moving items around without needing a box, you know, which makes a lot more sense, you know, if you move items around on the shelf. So let's see, we're going to put the pasta here. There we go. And we keep one of those boxes as well. And then the rest we're going to throw out. Then here we have some flour. Let's put it down here. Now let's see if I can run a better store than my local grocery store because I always complain how they have everything all over the place. They have these weird sections and groupings where it's like, okay, I'm here in the pasta section, yeah? So they have like uh, 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 the rice, the pasta, but then I can't find certain noodles, yeah? And I'm like, what, what the hell? Like, why is it not all in the one place? But then they have the one type of noodles in a completely different section because they have an Italian section or something. And it's like, why? Yeah, so it's, uh, so let's see if I can do it better. Okay, let's see if I can do a better job. <laughs> so this is the same size box, so we can throw it out. So when it comes to pricing, you can see that there's an average market price. But of course, we want to make some money. Welcome, come again, you know, we want to make some money. So what I figured out is over some trial and error, error a trial and error is that 15% seems to be kind of great. So... I have my little calculator here and um, we're going to kind of go to the prices that we um, say plus 15%, slightly under, yeah? So um, this, the market price here being 396 plus 15% would be 455. So we're going to set it to 450 right now. We just go a little bit under, you know, and there will always be people who say, oh, this is too expensive, but the majority of people will buy it. That's, that's the point, yeah? So we're going to see, what do we have here? 450, and we're going to do the same again. That will be approximately 517, so we'll say 5. Let's stay a little bit under. There we go. And then we have the pasta here, which is 312. And you don't have to do it every time. You only have to do it the first time, and then when the prices go up and down, you just adjust. Yeah, so you don't worry about it. Uh, I won't be doing that a lot. So it will be about 355, so let's make it 350. And then this one here is, is 371 and 15%, uh, that's 425. So let's put it to about 420. Let's make it 415 just to be a little bit on the nose, you know, some uneven numbers. And that's it. We have our prices set and now we can open the store. Um, I have yet to take a loan and I'm in store level 62. That's crazy, Michelle. Kona, I would recommend don't take any loans and don't get any licenses until you upgrade your store. That is absolutely a good advice. Thank you. Both storeroom and the store itself are a good choice. Yeah, I was kind of playing with the licenses, and you're absolutely right. Once you st is the, the problem is that once you have a license, it seems that the game customers seem to trigger that they expect those items to be on the shelf. So a lot of times you see people come in saying, ooh, I don't see this item. Yeah. So right now, I would expect some customers to come in and say, oh, I don't find any cereal. But they would never come right now into my store and say, oh, I can't find any cheese be because I don't sell any cheese, yeah? So I'm assuming that licenses kind of trigger certain expectations in the customers. So you're absolutely right. So sugar and cereal is the one thing I don't have right now. So we're going to start buying that during the day and uh, set it in. So let's open the shop and you can see then the time starts. It's 8 a.m. and the time doesn't go down until um, then. Look at that already overpriced sale excellent five quid so this is all this is actually really funny you have to do the change yourself yeah 
So um, you can give them too much change if you want, yeah, and the game won't correct you. So we have some flower here for our, so yeah, I prefer when they have the cards because I can just use the num part and hit enter and it goes through. Look at that, no complaints so far. And why do you give me a hundred dollars for 850? That's like, yeah, you should be ashamed. Look at the floor. I'm going to give you 91 in, in one cent in one. Yeah, here you go. You're gonna get 50 cent in one cent because you've been a douche canoe. Give me a hundred dollars for 850. Like, what is wrong with you? I just opened a new store. Okay, my maths is very strong. Uh, not at all. I'm being funny. Yeah, I, I don't. My, my math skills on the spot is not very good. So I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get this right. Okay, here. So giving change is my biggest nemesis in this game. There we go. Excellent. So we made some money, which is great. So we can actually see now um, if we would buy some sugar and some cereal, that would cost us 49. So we, uh, there's also a two dollar shipping charge. So I'm waiting until I have that money and then um, we're going to go and buy that. Here we go. We have some money. Oh, great. No change. And we got some eight dollars for bread and what is it? I don't know. Whatever it was. Oil. Two dollars change. There you go. The quarter dollar always uh, seems to co uh, co confuse me, like the 25 cent. It's a really weird choice. Ah, oh, nice. I love you. Man, give me a card. It's brilliant. Okay, so now we have... Oh, nearly the money. We need one more sale. And then um, we can put two more products here on the line. Okay, you want to come in? Hello? Hello? What happens if I run in front of... Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. <laughs> it's like, okay, no accident, but we have to check out the neighborhood. I wonder if I can buy some property here, like a hotel. Let's make it a hotel manager at the same time. There you go. Yeah, you keep buying loads and loads of stuff. I love it. Thank you. And you have a card. That is appreciated. Okay, so now let's do that. Um, I usually wouldn't do that, but right now at the start, I just want to buy things as I do that. So let's have some here. We have some cereal here. Okay, let's take the box. Let's give it a price. And what do we have? Five ninety-eight. Oh wow, that's gonna be nice. Fifteen percent. And that's six eighty-seven. So we're gonna go with uh, six eighty. That is awesome. That's gonna be loads of money. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, excellent. Five. Okay, let's get the next one out. And get rid of the box. Yeah, just give me a second there, miss. I'm just gonna have to extort my prices here. We have 483 plus 15 percent and that will be 555 so i would say 550 we don't want to be you know too cheeky okay so let's see what we got here got some money 235 oh my god okay um yeah okay can you get robbed in this game i don't know i have no idea it hasn't happened to me yet four or five um one two three four and one, two, three, four, five. There you go. I give you the pissy one cent coins. And we're nearly level two on the store. That is nice. Okay, so what do we have? Four, $50 for four. Okay, hang on. Um, oh my god. Okay, 50, 75, 85. Okay. Don't make me do maths. That's really bad. Oh, that's great. He gave me exact change. I love that people give me exact change. Oh my god, okay, 44, that's uh, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 50, there you go. Cereal, get cereal, that makes me loads of money. Oh, okay. We're baking tonight, $11.39, there you go, okay. Um, not yet se seismic. It's in the plans of the developer. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, is it going to be that somebody will try come in and just walk out with the items? Or is it like going to be an armed robbery or something where you take your baseball bat and beat the crap out of them or something? Okay, so it's five o'clock. Very good. 
Now, what I would like to... How much money would it take to do one of each? It would take about 97, is it? Okay, 90... Oh, plus four for shipping. Okay. So, 97. So, let's see if we get that done today. 97 would be nice. Um, okay. That's 415. Thank you. Oh. Oh, nice. Lovely. We have, like, three items here. That's really good. Loving it. 74. Another $16 or so. Okay, so now we have to turn the lights on. Which is going to cost us electricity. Um, oh, it's two cereals. I love you. You're my favorite customer so far. Cereal, uh, um, okay, hang on. Cereal is very important. Oh, look at you. Nice, more cereal. And you're a card person. Excellent, not living in the Stone Age. Brilliant, look at this. We can actually order all that stuff in the morning. That is absolutely fantastic. The store is open until 9 p.m. So, um, Kona, uh, it's supposed to be, as far as I understand, that security guards and shoplifters are supposed to be in the game eventually. It makes actually sense that you have to hire a security guard. That, that would make a lot of sense. So and this game is, like I said, extremely popular right now. It has 94% positive ratings out of 12,000. And it's not that the game is in any way super, super amazingly unique. Absolutely not. There's plenty of simulator games like that out there. There's actually another one where you're a video store and all that, which was really fun to play with. But I think it's that the developer kind of... It's the simplicity of things, yeah? And the way the loop works. It's the quality of life items the developer puts in. I think people... Um, from what I read, um, are very happy with the, the developer responding fairly quickly to, you know, things that are not working or adding quality of life items. And that's good. It's great. You know, so, I mean, that's what it's all about. Okay, so we finished. We made 121. That is really, really good. So we had 22 satisfied customers. We bought supply. We made uh, 71 profits. So we have 121.20. Um, you will receive daily bills now starting from today. So, which means if we go into here, let me see, and go into our management, we should now see bills showing up here. I think they show up after we open. Um, that's fine. And uh, I think you, if you don't pay them eventually after two, three days, I think it pays them automatically. I'm not sure. We'll see. So let's order all of this. And let's make sure... We have our shelves stacked. There we go. I should have bought a second box of flour. I didn't realize we were completely out. And then we have some pasta here. Very good. So you see, if you have a box, you can put items in it and move them around. And that's why I'm saying uh, you, you want to always have a box around. Okay, I already actually have a box of that type so um, that you can do that. Um, cereal. Did I get cereal as well? I think I got cereal there. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're good. Um, ugh, I, I know it's going to be an extra two quid, but I'm, my price is extortionist anyway. So um, I just want to get another flower that I have definitely enough in my shelves. That bothers me now that I don't have the second um, thing at all populated there with items. Okay, so yeah, that looks good. Look at this. Nice. Let's go. So hopefully we're not going to need to buy anything today. So 15% approximately seems to be the sweet spot where I found there's some people complaining, but the majority of people just buy everything. Uh, Tommy, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Hello? I can't wait to get my cash, uh, cashier, actually, because then I can wander around the neighborhood and check things out and work the leisure of um, being a manager and owner Okay, we have some people here, actually. The dry cleaners. It would be awesome if this game... Uh, uh, like, I know there's simulation games which kind of touch on everything. And you can buy all the different type of businesses. And then you can own them all in the neighborhood. Like, that would be pretty sweet. 
But I mean, this is Super Max Simulator, obviously, so it's it's not that. But I wonder how you can manage massive stores like at some point. That must be insane. Because I have to do everything myself right now. And um, to get the cash, uh, cashier, for example, you need to be a level 10 shop. So um, I hope the levels, the store levels are based on the money I make rather than the number of sales. I actually haven't looked at how that experience bar goes up. And if I give somebody too much change, I can just right click. Uh, you can see it here, it pops up. One thing I don't like is, I know it kind of makes sense, realism. If I put five down, I can't take, for example, I'll say another five, I can't take 10 back, yeah? Um, I think that would be a nice quality of life if you don't have to worry, remember what notes you put down, if you know what I mean. Because obviously, you know, it kind of makes sense to just uh, say, oh, I gave you 10 too much, like, you know, so I take 10 back or whatever. So, um... Oh crap, 50, 75, oh, oh man. 85 is always such a weird thing with the 25 cent. Oh great, you gave me exact change. Breakfast cereal, very important. Beautiful, okay, look at that, we're already at 64, that's brilliant. Okay. And 8, 85, oh, 85 again. 1, 2, 3. So 85 is these three then. Okay. Um, it's supposed to be a um, Games of Cakes. Cage is in touch with the developer on this Discord. I only know what I've heard on his stream. I don't know if armed robbery is going to be added to the game. Well, it doesn't have to be armed robbery, to be honest. It can be just like, you know, in a more silly fashion where somebody comes in and just says, you know, uh, give me your money. Uh, and that's it. You doesn't have to have a weapon. And you just smack him with a baseball bat. Or if you have a security guard, they just arrest him and that's it, you know. So, oh my God, you gave me, I hate you. I hate you so much right now. Uh, 85, 1, 2, 3, 4. Guess who just earned themselves 50 cent in 1 cent coins? Yes, you did. You won. You won. You are the customer of the month. There you go. You're welcome. I would do that in real life. If somebody would be a douche gunner, kind of, I would have a bag of 1 cent coins just for them. Oh, brilliant. You see, why can't everybody be like him? Give me exact change. Okay, so I can rearrange things now if I want, actually, which is great. So let me see. So I can move this and put it here. So we know we are, we are out of stock here. I can take these guys out and put them here. Brilliant. Okay. Um, thank you. That's five dollars then. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, brilliant. Look at this. All the professionals at work giving me their card. Absolutely loving it. Okay, the bread probably looks like we can definitely order more of that. So I've seen some of Cage's stream with the big stock room, which looks really amazing. So I can't wait to actually get into the stock room. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, that was a bit too much. Uh, 10 and 1, there we go. Because you can then order things in stock that your 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 slaves, will, uh, your helpers will uh, put out in the shelves, you know, which is great. So they restock automatically um, in store when you buy the stock for the storage, which is great. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. Look at that, 172. That's excellent. And we're halfway there. So let's see. Okay. Oh, this is the wrong box for this? Oh, okay. Is it this box? Oh, no, they have a tiny box. I forgot about that. That's a complete different box. And that's, yeah, so these two have the same box. Okay, so I need a third box here. That's interesting. Oh, let's turn the lights on. It's getting a bit dark. There we go. 11. Brilliant. Um, one, 
35. Excellent. I'm getting better at the 25 cent stuff. So what do we have here? We have 9 and 5. So this is 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 could fit in here. That means 2. Yeah. So we, Oh, you see, he says the flower is too expensive. But he's like one person, you know. So I don't really care what his opinion is. If you don't want flower, you can go somewhere else. Oh my god, what a dick. <laughs> well, somebody just earned themselves loads of one cent coins. Hey Biggles, how are you? Oh, I mean my appreciated workers. Yeah, 50 cent coins. Wow, virtually no one uses those anymore. I'm sure we even mint <laughs> them these days. There you go, sir. Enjoy your change. Okay, 235. I can live with that. There we go. Okay, so 212. Look at that. We already made a huge profit. Yeah, no, not many people bought cereal. They didn't complain really about it either, but yeah, interesting. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Beautiful. Look at you giving me exact change. Yeah, 50 cents. Okay, here we go. So let me see. So these pack 12, that means 24 in total. So seven. Oh, that's brilliant. That's 12, which means one pack. So I can actually order that box, which is brilliant. So I can shuffle some things around. And that's it. The day is... Oh, somebody else still coming in. Excellent. Okay, can we stay here forever at nine o'clock and just keep selling things? Okay. Actually, my bills. Let me check my bills here for a second. Oh, no bills have come in yet. Okay. Oh, okay, people are still coming in, and I, I don't care. That's that's great. So I thought at 9 o'clock nobody would come in anymore. Ah, oh, is the flower too expensive for you? Then go somewhere else. Okay, brilliant. Now, um, let's finish the day. Let's see. Two people found products too expensive. They, they can go, go whistle. Another 22 cast satisfied customers. Um, we got 134 points and we made 134 profit. Brilliant. So now we can stock up the shelves and start looking at um, not the next products, but expanding, you know, putting more product in. So what is, when can we expand things? Let me see. So we can always buy more things here, but when can we start expanding? At level four. So at level four for 350, we can expand our shop, which would be great. Okay. So. Oh, I don't know if I need cereal, but we can always have the box on the on the floor. It's fine. Okay, so we buy all that. There we go. Excellent. Oh, is that the box we need for this? No, that's a different box. Yeah, different box. I think it's this one. Yeah, the flat box. That's it. So, excellent. And we can put this box here. It's this one. There we go. Excellent. So, and then we can, yeah, that's it. That's the one. So we leave this box here. These are the three boxes here, and this one goes in the bin when we finish with it. Excellent stuff. So now we can shuffle things around uh, very easily. And I don't think prices have changed. So let me just double check. I think that happens only after day three or four. Um, so if you look at this, you can see if prices went up or down. And if they did, then you have to go and recalculate your prices as well, obviously. So, okay, do we have bills now? I think we get bills now. Yes. So 365 for electricity bills, I guess. And then rent is 20. So we paid that. Beautiful. Always pay your bills straight up. So that's brilliant. And then what we can do is we can get another two shelves and then we can quadruple up on everything. You know, we can double up on everything, which is brilliant. 
Uh, you was, used to work at Walmart. What I hated most was when customers paid in tiling coins or were complete assholes. <laughs> you had one asshole berated me for crying after a grand night. Oh my god, genie Mac. Dude. Those are not customers, those are animals. They deserve the tires stabbed as a welcoming gift in the parking lot. Um, there we go. Uh, $90. Well, at least it's an even, so you're, you're not too bad. So we're now making good profit. We now can expand our store soon. So if I would want to buy furniture, it would be two shelves. There would be $400. Okay. There we go, very nice. Thank you, come again. And again, there we go, beautiful. He's a regular, he comes in every morning. <laughs> so in the beginning it's a bit slow going, but you will get very busy later. I played, like I said, only up to store level 10, and it got very busy just with one extra license and shop expansion, so it, it was getting quite hectic. Oh, Biggles, you're terrible. <laughs> so they see you coming for a mile and people are like, I'm going on lunch. You, you can have the till now. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Card payment. You are one of my favorite customers. Thank you. Excellent. I used to work for data entry, so I don't even have to look at my numpad anymore. Like, you know, I used to, um, many, many years ago, uh, my job was literally looking at a piece of paper, as a stack of paper, look at the numbers, type in the account number in the PC, and then in the, on the PC, look, look at the numbers on the paper, and then literally just type in the numbers there from the paper into the into the application. So uh, data entry, that's that's all it was. it was. It was all numbers, yeah? So after a while, you, you didn't even have to look anymore at the numpad. You know exactly where the numbers are, where the pluses, where the minuses. You, you just literally look at the piece of paper and you just go, bop, 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 enter, bop, 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 enter, tap, bop, 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 enter, tap, bop, 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 enter, tap. So you just literally do that all day. Just go down the page. You didn't even have to look at the computer screen anymore, yeah? Or the numpad. And yeah, that, that was my job for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any cereal here to replenish? Yeah, we have one more in here. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Look at you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. He had like, he bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. That is amazing. $35. Oh, look at you. Five items. That is so awesome. Oh, you dick. You're such a dick. <laughs> well, it's not too bad, actually. But you're still gonna get it all in one cent coins. There you go. Ah, 50 cent. That's okay. Oh, look at that. We're out of actually pasta. Wow, pasta completely sold out. That is crazy. Yeah, we definitely need a third shell. I think we need three of each. Wow. It's, the things are flying off the shelves right now. Okay. I think we're going to be able to close early today. So if we want three of each, we have how many items do we have? Hang on. So if we want three of each, that's one, two, three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six items. Six, three, that's 18 shelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we need one more shelf, I think, and then we can do three. Okay, um, where are we at? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so if we get three of each, it would be one, two, and then, yeah, okay, 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 okay.
Um, Carla, thank you so much uh, for another five dollars. You're crazy. Thank you so much. Uh, in the beginning, I would recommend keeping one of each box just in case you want to move stuff around. It's easier to. Yeah, that's what I did here. I ha I have uh, one of each box here. That's that's what I did. Because I, I didn't realize, and when I play tested it, uh, it took me a while to figure out that I can't move things around without a box. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, okay, hang on a second. I mean, I like the romantic mood, but I just rather if I can see who I'm dealing with. Oh, okay. Look at you. Nice. That is a huge profit today. Couldn't find pasta. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No pasta today. It's all out. So I think what I would like to do is get a shelf. That's for sure. And then... Get one of each, but get three pasta. We're going to see now in a second. Um, okay, excellent. So our flower is out as well, 965. Oh, okay, somebody else. So we need three flour, that's for sure. So flour, flour, flour. We need three as well. Oh, won't let me. Why not? Why won't it let me do another flour? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to look at that in a second. So, yeah, I'm assuming that is a bug that once it reaches 9 o'clock and the time stops that people still come in to buy things. It, it, it kind of is weird. Oh, wow. That was definitely worth it to stay open a little bit longer. Okay, so let's close shop. I seem to always get 22 satisfied customers. Yeah, product expensive, that's fine. Products not found, that's because we run out. Rent bills, so we made quite a lot of money. So oil went up. So if we look at the price for oil now, we can see it's now at uh, 504, which is great. So if we look at 504 um, plus 15%, that's gonna be 579. So I would say, let's go at 570. Go a little bit under, you know. So, 570. And um, bread. Okay, so we could do is two more bread. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, 10 items is the maximum. Huh, okay. So, I suppose let's get this first. And let me actually put this here for a second. So we're going to take this shelf and move it a little bit further here. Come on. Eh, there. And then we can move this shelf. I love the simplicity of this, how you can move shelves. That's just so awesome. Okay, this is not exactly lined up, but it's going to have to do. And then we're going to have this. There you go. Eh. Okay. Now, let me take uh, wrong box. This one. Actually, let's put this all here and put this all here. There you go. And this is going to go here as well. This is going to go here and here. So three shelves for this product. Then um, What the hell? Why can't I not put this down? Okay, we have to throw it out. Okay, fine. That's fine. 
Sometimes it just has to be the way it is. So um, now if I look at pasta, I want the bread here, here and here, the oil here, here and here. And then I suppose we can have the pasta on the bottom here. No, that's the same box. And there you go, that's the special. And that's the one we can put on the ground here. Yeah, that works again. That is really weird. Okay, so let's put the bread over here. So that's where all the bread is going to go. And... Here's where all the um, oil is going to go. Okay. And then we have the pasta here, here, and here. And then we have another three shelves over here for something else. That's brilliant. Okay, so that's everything's organized now. Let's do the oil. Let's put the sugar here. So now we have three shelves of each. So we definitely wouldn't need uh, to restock anymore during the day. We should have enough for everybody. Oh, the flour. Yeah, and the flour. Um, let's put the flour here, I guess. bread here loads of restocking but then it all automatically makes money that's the whole idea um the best thing i can recommend uh, is to stay close uh, close until you've got everything ready oh that's what i'm doing yeah that's that's very very, very correct yeah because the idea is that i don't want to during the day spend more time on um you know restocking so i think having three of each should theoretically be enough now so now we have to still order some, of course. Um, so we need one more of that. And we need one more of that. So we need one. Let me see. One sugar. We need one of those. One more cereal. How much bread do we need? Uh, at least one more box. Yeah, I think one more box. Also one more box of that. And oil. Yeah, we need one more box of oil. And one more box of flour. I already have the flour, I think. No, I don't. Uh, one more box of flour. And... Then what are we what are we missing? Am I missing a product? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we only have six products. Oh, okay. So in that case, um, we can move that all over. feel like I'm missing something. Anyway, we'll see in a second. Yeah, I don't think I am. Um, let's buy that. There we go. But it definitely should last for the day now. cereal goes here and then the sugar here oh no there we go so we can theoretically have two more products here stacking up if we need to but I think we're fine so what you can do then is you can remove the labels on the parts that don't have items in it there you go and looks nice and clean. I think we're doing well. That's good. Now let's see how much money we're going to make today.
Um, is, is your store doing anything for St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> yes, we have special up counts. They're not discounts, they're up counts where the shop gets an extra 20% from the customers. So it's it's a discount for uh, on the customer for the store, you know, to celebrate Paddy's Day. That box was recyclable. No. <laughs> H2O, how are you? Um, glad you're better and glad they didn't take your manhood bits. No, they didn't. No, it's upselling exactly. There you go. Now we we should not run out of products, but it's a bit weird sometimes. Um, people just buy it one product intensely and it's like okay so one two three four five six. actually we could have four of each at this stage that is actually perfect yes oh that's excellent i can have four of each because it's exactly six i didn't even see that <laughs> i'm such an idiot okay 270 um 50 60 70 okay and 2190 thank you good sir yeah, more money. Exactly. Okay, what do we have? Oh, perfect. Oh, bills. We have to pay our bills, I think, for today. 112 for electricity or whatever. And then the rent. So we definitely... Yeah, I think we can... Because we have six items, that's perfect. So we can actually have one item in each um, row fully stocked. That's brilliant, actually. I didn't even think of that. Oh, look at her, like she's going to town. Uh, breakup. Flour, sugar, she's making cookies. Bad breakup, I know. Don't worry about it. He doesn't deserve you. Um, 80, 50, 60, 70, there we go. Okay, perfect. I love it. Okay, so you see, now we can move some things around. Where, um, make the shelves look less empty. You know, things like that. Keep ourselves entertained a little bit. Oh, look at that car. That's nice. With my prices, I will be able to afford that very soon as well. There we go. Nice. Uh, 1820. More sugary stuff. Very good. There was a nice mix of things. Oh, money. Okay, so 420. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 20. So yeah, we couldn't actually move the pasta into the last shelf then. Because we're going to do four of each. Excellent. 50. Um, oh no, that's one too many. There we go. And card. I prefer card. I can't make mistakes with cards. So um, now what we need is one of each. We can do one of each here just to have the shelf full for tomorrow. Um, oh, hang on a second. Yeah, that would be 96. Just getting it loaded up for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, no, I was thinking you meant the pasta because it's kind of going across on the bottom, yeah. Um, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. 865, 1, 2, 3, um, and 60. There we go. So that's brilliant. So when we buy, um, so we have to plan for expansion. So if we want to expand, yeah, we would have to look at how many more products do we get? We get one, two, three, four, five, six more products, but some of them are for fridges and some of them are for shelves. So we're going to have to look at that expansion properly. Um, there we go. 
and what is that? 3450, 3450, 55. Nice. Ah, let's turn the lights on. Well, yeah, the lights come on at 6. There we go, at 6. Um, Franco, how are you? Great to see you. Hopefully everything went great. Yes, it, it did. It did. It was very. So it was actually sore than I thought. Uh, uh, not, not the in general. The pain wasn't that bad. Um, I was fine straight away on the next day. I could eat soft stuff. No, no problem. Yeah, but um, they also did some other things in the back of my throat to to check them out, and that actually hurt like a bitch for for the last two days. That was terrible. Um, it's like I could eat, but as soon as I ate something that was the tiniest bit, uh, a little bit more gritty, it felt like razor blades going down the throat. It was terrible. But it's a little bit better today. So I couldn't do much, so I slept a lot. So my sleep cycle was a bit out of sorts as well, because in the evening I wasn't tired. Everybody else went to bed. I was sitting there until four in the morning cleaning the kitchen, you know, watching TV and just not being able to sleep but then during the day because of the medication as well i was kind of just like uh, you know and uh, sleeping more during the day so it was kind of a bit weird so i should be back to my normal cycle now after today there we go look at you oh look at it your twin brother he also just came in for sugar You don't have to give uh, the psycho said, yeah. I don't get why these games, uh, 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 why these, ge I don't get why these games are popping off. The gas station one, parking one, this one, real estate. Yeah, I don't know. Some of them I don't get either, but I think what it is, it's, I, I, I can see that some of these games are not as entertaining to watch or st to watch stream or something, but a lot of them are actually quite, have a quite addictive game loop. Yeah. And I personally always love games that um where you can make money in yeah Ma making money is one of the most funnest things in a game like world of warcraft i, pl I spent the majority of times actually playing um uh, the auction house i i don't really play um world of warcraft as much for the content but more for the auction house i love making money in games yeah so um yeah, we're going to have to sort that out uh, later. Just get the customer sorted first. There you go. And then, oh my God, you dick. Um, okay, you asked for it. Here we go. Uh, this game is way more addictive than it should be. Can't put it down. Always just one more day. Yeah, exactly. That That's what happened to me. There you go. Enjoy your change. Okay, so 23 satisfied customers. That is awesome. Okay. Oh, the cereal went up. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Cereal. Um, cereal is now at 5.95 and that is plus 15%. That's 6.84. So, hey, 6.80. We're still at 6.84. Hang on, did the price not go up though? 680. Oh, interesting. Okay. Was it the cereal? Let's see. Let's pay the bills first. The unit price went up. Oh, it's just got more expensive to buy. Oh, okay. The market value didn't really go up. What a douche canoe. Anyway, um, so let's see. What do we have? Let me sort the shelves here first. Um, okay, we need two of these. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me... Yeah, we sold quite a lot, actually. That's awesome. Okay, look at that. Oh, 
Okay. So that is looking good. So we need two bread. Let me see. Um, so we need two cereal. We need two of everything, actually. Two of everything. Oh, it doesn't let me order more than that. That's so painful. Um, okay, purchase, and then we're going to have to do these separately. There we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's all over the place. Can't wait to uh, hire uh, some some desperate people to work in my store for minimum wage, and then tell the customers they have to tip them so they can so that they can live. Okay, so four of each is actually uh, works out really well. too much oil now but that's okay just gonna put that there and more cereal this is taking forever I need people to help me with this oh okay I thought I could open it while I was sne sneaking in Okay, let's go. Let's open. Okay, so fully stacked shelves. Could do a little bit of flour actually as well. Let me get one more flour actually. I, I'm not happy with just one of them in the shelf. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, good. That is perfect. We need, we actually level five now. So how much money do we have? Uh, how much money do we need for the expansion? So if we look at management and growth, we can expand for 350. So I think we're going to expand next. And then we can plan out the space we need for the next license of food. Um, smart keeping an empty box that come in handy. Yeah, in the moment you can't sadly can't move things around. Oh, nice. Five items. Love it. Um, what is that? 85. Um, is the key to the bathroom chained to the cinder block? There is no bathroom. <laughs> um, Jeff, does your store get robbed? Uh, not in the moment. Um, I think Kona was saying earlier that the developer, there will be something like that in the game along that line. But I'm assuming it's going to be more um, that you have to hire a security guard or something, you know. And I don't know exactly how it visually gets implemented, but there's definitely something like that on the horizon. So I'm glad the, the dev hasn't dumped anything in just for the sake of dumping it in, you know, because people are asking for it. He's actually trying, or they, I don't know, you know, if it's one dev, multiple devs. But uh, the devs are probably want to make sure that it fits with the current mechanics and all that, you know. So 10.30, oh jeez, 10.30. Slice bread is too expensive, then get the hell out of my store. You can keep your opinions to yourself. If I want your opinion, I give it to you. I can't hit anybody. Okay. Um. So we can expand by four by four meters. Looks like Agent Smith. So let's see. Can we put the flower in here? Yes. Excellent. So this box can go. And do we have a little bit of oil here? There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Excellent. $12.50. 
1250, that's brilliant, and 985. Good, I like it. So our prices are doing well. We had 326, so now we could, oh, we need 350. So once we expand this, um, the next license we have, I'm not sure if it shows you what products are. Okay, bottled water, that's the fridge, I think. Cheese is the fridge, coffee is shelf. Eggs is fridge, milk is fridge, and tea is shelf. So we get two more shelf items, which means we need to buy one more shelf. Oh shit, yeah, okay, I gave him 10 cent too much. I forgot the 25 was, yeah, never mind. And one dollar, very good. So let's, um, we paid the bills, so let's uh, buy the section. Boom, there we go. So required section two, required solar six, so we can buy another four by four for 750. So, oh, look at that. The store actually increased in the back. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we can actually play around now with putting shelves back to back. Oh, okay interesting so we can start looking at uh, designing the shop differently six items nice okay 1675 there we go brilliant love it 35 so now the next thing is we need one shelf for the extra product which is going to be 200 i believe so if we want to have one shelf, that's 200. And then I think we need also one fridge. But do we need... I want to go straight for the big boy fridge. I don't think it's worth it to spend that. So I would need 575 for the expansion just without the products. Just the expansion. So we should do that uh, smart. Wow, six items. Awesome. And you paid the exact amount. Okay, 6 p.m., lights on. It's looking good. I think it looks, yeah, our shelves are looking good. Wow, eight items. I think that's the most I've seen somebody buy so far. I think I gave a 10 cent too much. Crap. I prefer if they give me cards. It works better. Oh, I just fixed the shelf. Or at least you take it from the bottom. Uh, it's one dev. He's extremely responsive. Uh, like Cage talked about bad lag in the storeroom and got figured out and fixed in a day or two. That's actually really good. Seven items. Oh, perfect cash. Um, oh, that's really good to know, yeah. Uh, somehow Cage is connected to it, yes. Yes. I, I would assume if yeah Cage uh, if he likes a game I would assume he joins the discords and he would definitely uh, you know give positive like uh, not positive negative what are you saying constructive feedback about things which is good and if you have a dev that listens to constructive feedback then uh, that's always a bonus they don't have to do what you say they just have to you know listen that's all and then they can make their own decision they might st still do exactly the opposite but if they base it on their own preference and there's nothing wrong with that <coughs> <coughs> oh you bastard oh look at that they're falling over each other oh okay it's getting the nine o'clock rush in that is awesome here we go nice i think we need one more day and then we can start looking at the expansion Oh, wow, that was good. 70, 50, 60, 70, and 20. Okay, nice. This was really good. Um, 
So our income was 502. Okay, we had some things go up. So let me just see. I have to adjust some prices here for a second. So <clears throat> cereal went up. Oil and pasta. So prices changed for cereal, oil and pasta. So oil is at 480. So 480 plus 15%. That's now down to 550. So again, cereal, oil, and pasta. So pasta, or cereal, let's do the cereal first. That went up again, seven, oh, 714. That's at 820 now. And then uh, pasta went down, I think. <coughs> 362. <coughs> Plus 15%. It's 416. So how come pasta went up? <clears throat> Did I have the pasta price wrong earlier? <clears throat> oh, pasta went up. Sorry, I thought it went down. <clears throat> okay, so now let me shuffle some things around here to see how much product we need to reorder. Okay, so we need two. <clears throat> okay, we need one here. Okay, so we need one here and then bread. Let me just see. It's the wrong box. Okay, good. Now, how are we moving things around when we're expanding? So we're going to get an extra shelf, which we, I suppose, could put here, but. It would be good to start playing around with the idea of uh, maybe putting the shelf sideways like this, you know, where maybe you have something like that <clears throat> and then have this like this. But how close can we put them? Is that going to be too close for customers not to be able to walk in and out? So we need to leave a little bit of room, I guess. Um, Maybe just like this much. And then. There we go. Something like that. I mean, it's hard to see exactly what we need then, but you know, it's more about practicality for customers, I guess. And then we could move this one over here. Oh no, that wouldn't make sense. Well, we could move it here, really. Okay, let me just put it here for a second. I want to change the way the store looks a little bit. Um, Cause I would assume that a door like this is kind of more, you know, private. So you don't want people to have access to it. So, <clears throat> so we can put it here, I guess, the cash register, which means we have the door behind us. And then we can put a second cash register here in future. Can we move this? Oh my God, we can move this. This is actually amazing. Um, can we put it here? Okay, hang on a second. Let me move this a little bit away first. Come on. There we go.
yeah, look at this. This is perfect. So my little area, this is where the thing is. So I'm assuming if we have enough staff where this constantly goes in and out, sure. But in the moment, I'm the only one doing things. So this means we have a lot more room here in our store. Utilizing the space wisely, I think. Oh, crap. This is booked out again. Yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, okay. The only way of getting rid of it now is throwing it out. That's okay. Um, um, oh, wait, are you using your numpad for the credit card payment? Yes, I do, yes. Um, it was added in the recent patch. That's right, I could see the patch notes for that as well. Um, customers don't need much space, uh, but you do. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, oh, you can also throw the boxes. Oh, cool. That's much better. Awesome. Thank you. So um, let's see what we need to order. So we have, um, we need one of each, I think. Um, one of each, but we need two sugars and two flour. So one of each, two flour, two sugar. And will we get the shelf? Oh, we don't have the money for the shelf yet. So let's remove the shelf and the fridge because we don't have money for that yet. And let's purchase that. So the idea is that now we're getting ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like the way it's just been dumped there. That's actually so funny. Um. Excellent. Okay. I mean, do I have to really throw them out? Like in the bin? I mean, I theoretically, well, this one here we want to put there because it's not empty. But we could just throw it out on the street. I mean, it's not like we're going to get fined or something, is it? I could just YOLO it like over there on the street. Um, like here. There we go. Nobody cares. Nobody's seen anything. And, um... Um, you don't have expiration dates. Um, I'm not. That could that could be something they might add at some point later. Absolutely, I have no idea. And let's open. I've seen people leave them in the street. Yeah, not sure if it impacts performance. Also, you can take a walk around the block. Uh, yeah, the I haven't walked too far yet because. Um... Oh shit. Can I throw it on a tree? Can I actually throw it up there? Yeah, look, excellent. <laughs> oh, hello, welcome to my store. Please come again. Uh, oh, I didn't want you in my store anyway. There we go. I'm open since eight o'clock and nobody's buying anything until 9.30, that's terrible. Complaining about pasta prices, dude. Seriously. Oh yeah, the queue. I ah, oh, that's cra That's crazy. I forgot the queue goes to the right. So how are they gonna queue up now? Um, let me see. Um, eleven. There we go. Yeah, I probably have to move things around actually. Um. Probably have to move this one over to the side. Yeah, let them queue up there. Is there going to be more customers coming? I want to see how they're going to queue up now. 
How would the third one queue up? Let me just take my time checking it all in. Give me a second, okay? Just hang on. I have to make sure everything's scanned okay. Hang on. <gasps> They're in each other. That's how we can save room. They're all in each other. That's awesome. Thirty-four seventy. Take my money. <laughs> Dude, I dealt with shoplifters at Walmart. I don't need to deal with them in game. They're the worst. Yeah, no, I'm sure there will be shoplifters, like, you know, and security guards and all that, because it makes sense to have that, you know, not at the early stages, maybe, but uh, at some point, it would make sense. So let me pick this up. What happens if I'm doing things while, um, hang on a second. So if I put this here, oh no, hang on, this box I actually can get rid of. So while somebody's waiting, yeah, if I move my cash register, what will happen? Will I break the game? Let me save. Will I break the game? So if I do this now and I move it to here. Oh, that fair play. Look at that. Sorted. That is not bad. So that way they can queue up here, you know. If things are too expensive, don't play me. It's the economy, okay? Mr. Suit. Nice, keeping myself busy, trying to um, organize stock. There we go. Keep things nicely organized. can't throw it here oh there we go um light switch sorry there 24 15 nine items that is the highest so far eight items was the previous uh topped out one one two three four five and 85, 50, 60, 70, 85, there. Yeah. Um, I'm so glad I got out of there. My anxiety was through the roof working there. Oh, I can imagine. There's a lot of jobs that I find very stressful. I used to work as a chef and um, as a commie chef, like learning to be a chef, and I, I had to get out. It was just too stressful. Like, I know it's a different type of stress, but it's just still, there's certain things that are just not worth it, to be honest. Um, um, 50, um, okay, it's a little bit dark, so what I might do is, um, I don't think I want to buy more lights, I just move them down, that should be enough. Yeah, there we go. Good, I like it.
Oh, we already at level seven nearly. That's really good. So because at level ten we can um, get the staff, get the the che the cashier. Um, oh, perfect. So uh, one thing I'm really happy about now is that we don't run out of stock during the day, which is great. As you add fridges and lights, your electric bill goes up. I like that. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, eight items. Very good. Excellent. Look at that. That's beautiful. So we only had 19 satisfied customers, but we still made more money because each customer bought more items. So that's fine. Okay, flour, cereal, and oil is down. Let me see. Flour, sorry, cereal, oil, and flour. Cereal, oil, and flour. So flour is at 297 um, plus 15%. So that's 340. So we, oh wow, we have to go down to 340. That's quite a dunk. And then cereal has gone down again, 794. No, actually not at all. 794 plus 15%. That's actually gone up. So that's now at 910. Holy crap, dude. Actually, let's make it nine. Be a little bit more considerate, I guess. And then what else went changed? So cereal, cereal went down the unit price, but uh, no, uh, anyway, flour and oil. So the oil, 429 plus 15%, that's 493, so 490 is fine. There we go. Okay, so let's quickly do um, the fixing of the shelves. There we go. Um, okay, we need two of those. One of those. those and then bread we already have sorted so we need one bread okay that's really good okay so so one of each but two sugar yeah Oh, I think we need more pasta, actually. Yeah, we need two pasta as well. There we go. The boxes are staying outside on the street, so I'm not going to add to the problem. I think otherwise I'm going to get probably performance issues. Can I bring the bin inside? It would make it so much easier. Yeah, I can't leave it there. It's killing me. It's killing me. Some cereal. Very good. And we are making money in the sense that even after we restock everything, we are actually still staying in constant profit, which is good. Yeah, I need to hire someone soon. 
Um, we have to have three more levels, and then we can hire someone. Okay, so um, this should be enough. Let me see. So what do we need now? Um, before I get the next license, what, do, what can we buy already? We need a big fridge. I want to buy a big fridge. And we need one shelf. This is what we need. Which is, oh, 575. Awesome. Okay, so let's do that straight away. Let's open the shop. And then we're going to buy one more shelf. And then we can buy a fridge. I wonder if we can put the fridge here. And then move the shelf slightly forward, maybe? I don't know. I'll leave the shelves here a little bit more spaced apart. And then have the fridges between the shelves. Or maybe have a fridge section separately. I don't know. I have no idea. Why does it take so long for people to show up? I opened like an hour ago. Come on. Come on. No, he didn't want to come in. Um, <clears throat> okay, good, good, good. We now get the money to buy the shelves and the fridge, and then we can buy the license and the extra food. Thank you, good sir. It's $18 for two boxes of cereal. But now we can buy... Look at that, baby. So, a fridge. Um, I would say put the fridge here for now. Just right here by itself. Like that. And then we're going to see how many fridges we actually need. Yeah, go cry about flower, why don't you? Did you just skip the queue? What a douche canoe. She was clearly there first. Ah, damn it. I can't overcharge him. There you go. Very good. And she gave extra change. That is sweet. What? Oh, the door. Okay, so. Yeah, and we can put another one on the back there. So we can even move them a bit closer, I think. Um, thank you. Yeah, I think we can move that a little bit closer, to be honest. There we go. So we're going to have coffee and tea there, which is very expensive, um, but they also make a lot of money. How much do we need for the license? 200 only. Okay. And how many fridge products do we get? Um, one, two... Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. Okay, so we can do two shelves each. One, two, three, four, and then we have some left over. Yeah, okay. Kind of planning ahead a little bit, you know? Perfect, thank you. Oh my god, you're one of those guys. Ugh. Need a self checkout? Yes. Well, I'm gonna buy at level ten. We can buy a, we can buy a person to work for us, or we can hire. I think hire is the uh, technical term.
you do not uh, have to go in order for the license just that you meet the store level requirements at some levels multiple licenses open up oh yeah it's just that that's the fridge items you know and I, i'm just gonna yeah you're right yeah we can we can start the second license if we want but i only want to spend 200 for now and there we go thank you oh perfect okay so let's see our bills um, oh, I didn't pay the bills last time. Wow. It's getting more expensive now, our store. Perfect, thank you. Uh, just one bread, seriously. There has to be a 10 item minimum or something, you know? It's like if you want to shop here, you have to go. Oh, jeez. Um, if you want to shop here, you have to go with a um, five item minimum. Irrelevant gaming, how are you? We can buy a person, we're pretty sure we pass it. Don't sell meth, yeah. You can get a loan at the bank for yeah i don't want to do the bank loans i don't i think i hope the game actually at some point puts you more in a situation where a bank loan becomes more appealing you know what i mean um but because i think because everything in the beginning is so restricted by level before it opens up a loan doesn't make sense because you have all the time in the world yeah but uh, you're absolutely right later on if there's loads of licenses opening up you might say you know what screw it let's take a big loan and just expand the shop immediately by like double the size nearly then then i would say yeah it's definitely worth it why is it so dark here i have lights hang on Forty-five. Yeah, but it should be enough lights. I know there was today's performance issues if you have too many lights and all that. So, oh wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, another nine item customer. Nice. And here comes the nine o'clock rush. <laughs> Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad, okay. Look again, he skipped the queue. What a douche. nice okay good end the day 25 customers we made some money flower has gone down that's okay so let's see what the flower is actually now at flower has gone down to 238 238 plus 15 percent so that's 270 wow 270 that is crazy okay um we're gonna get the license first. Actually, let's stock up on the other products first, okay? So let's fix that. Um, okay. Oh, wow, loads of cereals were bought. Oh, God, that's good. Wow, three pasta went off the shelf. Okay.
Okay, so we need two sugars, three pasta. Two sugar. We need three flour and, sorry, two flour and two cereal. And we need one bread and one oil. We're gonna do that in a second. So let's buy this first. And then we need one bread and one oil. Actually, leave that there. How much is the license? 200, let's get the license. And now also buy one tea and one coffee. Okay. Here we go now. Okay, so pasta. Now, hopefully, we're going to make... Uh, I hope we're going to get close to a 1,000 now. So, um, coffee. Let's put coffee here. Is that the same box? Let me see. What box is that? Oh, nice. That's that type of box. Okay. And then we have the oil here. There's one bread left. Oh, okay. It's gonna be all worth it. And we're gonna have the tea here. Yeah, we're gonna get somebody soon. At least for the cat for the tail it will be nice because then I can focus on uh, buying stock during the day for the next day. And I can do all the stocking of shelves during the day when we're actually making money. So I don't have to do it all like before I open the shop. Okay, last box, another bit of flour, I guess. Yeah. There we go, nice. Okay, so, coffee. Coffee is 10.48, so at 10.48 plus 15%, that means we can charge 12.05, but we're just gonna keep it 12 because we're generous, okay? Um, for tea, tea is 5.78 and plus 15%, that will be 6.64. So it will be 6.55 because I'm feeling generous. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, so the fridge stuff, I don't have money yet, so we're not going to do the fridge stuff yet. People might come and complain that the fridge stuff doesn't exist and they might say, oh, I couldn't find any cheese, you know, which is okay. But uh, we're going to do that next time. So what I'm going to do now is during the day, I will take some of the profits and keep buying more coffee and tea and stocking up the shelves with that. Sell cigarettes individually. Yeah. Clint Eastwood designed the lighting for this game. Oh, man. Um, also, I think uh, the appeal in this game is the never-ending micromanagement you go through. How many shelves do I have for each? Yeah, exactly. I think that's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> $10 for a bag of coffee. Yeah, I'm glad I ate coffee. Come on, get coffee. Get coffee. I'm oh, just getting the tea there. Look at that. Nice. Wow, she she's she's gonna be more than nine items, is she? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But look at that, thirty nine seventy five. Nice. One, two, sixteen fifty. Perfect. Okay, so now that means I can. I'm gonna wait, obviously. So let me see. We're gonna get another. 
two of those and another two of those. That would be 221. Well, 225. Oh, wow. He's going straight in there with the coffee and tea. Look at that. Nice. 30, 60. Beautiful. Now, what is our highest single purchase so far? I think the highest single purchase we had was 48.50 with like the nine items or something. 48.85. So we didn't have an over $50 purchase yet. I don't think so. Nice. Oh, she wanted eggs. There we go. Thank you. The coffee is too expensive. Well, it's not my fault. It's the market price, dude. Okay, and let's actually see if we took one of each down, we can keep it at 112. That's brilliant. Yeah, hang on a second there. So let me just stock up on more coffee. There we go. And quick, quick, come on. Ah! Quick, I'm under time pressure. Sorry, sorry. Ah, damn it. Okay. Perfect. Exact change. He wanted cheese, which I didn't have yet. You see, that's the thing. Once you... Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, only seven. I told you we're the new record. Oh, look at that, though. 47.30. Thank you. Excellent. $9 for cereal. What the fuck? Um, yeah, is the gas station simulator any good? Because I was looking at that as well, and um, I, I wasn't sure if that would be interesting uh, to, to stream, but it seems that a lot of people like it. Um, 82, 50, 60. Yeah, I know you want milk, okay, but I can't help it. So two of each for the freezer stuff, actually. So let me see. I, I don't have prices yet for the freezer stuff, so I don't like doing that. I, I, I think I prefer just not having freezer stuff today because what happened to me before when I was playtesting it, I put new items into a shelf before I put the price on and people started picking it and then I made no profit on the items they bought. Look at your man, he's rich. Two bags of coffee corner. There you go, he's rich. Okay, we're going to get um, another coffee and another tea though. Twenty-five, okay, twenty-five, ninety. See, what I would love to do is like put one in and then right-click on the ten cents to take the ten cent out. So she's getting a ten cent extra. I don't care. Um, there we go. Thank you. Um, everybody has to buy a minimum of one coffee. That's like the new shop rules. So, you know. Five twenty. There we go. Uh, oh my God! Thirty nine. Answered by fear and same. There we go. Oh, I should probably turn the light on. Hang on. Oh, our first over fifty dollars. Nice. 50-70. That is awesome. I like it. Oh, Sophie, how are you? Or South, I, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I apologize if I butcher your name. Um, you, you're playing this game yourself as well. You're enjoying it. I was kind of surprised how popular it was on Steam. And I was like, what is this about? So I had to check it out. And I'm so I'm actually amazed how addictive the game loop is. It is so much fun. 
Oh wow, look at this rich person here. Wow, 5590. Two coffees, two coffees. <laughs> No, I'm just saying because you said like uh, it, the coffee is so expensive. I agree. That's really expensive price of the coffee. But this person is like, I don't care. Give me all the coffee. So, yeah, I don't mind them saying like, oh, you didn't have milk, you know, and it's like, yeah, that's fine. But. Uh, I think uh, I think Kona and yourself like the, the the approach is much better when you actually plan a little bit ahead and make room. So we did the coffee and the tea now, so we can restock on that, and then we can use the other profits now to stock up the the fridge, you know. And um, we're much better prepared, which is great. Thank you. So fifty five dollars. I wonder when we get our first one hundred dollar purchase. Okay, we're closing now, sir, so I'm gonna rush you. Pick up, just get the two coffees and get out. Ah, oh, damn it, didn't work. Um, one, two, three. There we go. Okay. Awesome, look at that. Now, we only had, like, 13 people didn't find the product, but because everything was more expensive, we still made a lot of profit, which is good. Oh, look at that, coffee down, milk, pasta, sugar, okay. Now, let me fix the shelves first. That's the first thing I'm going to have to do. Okay. Um. Good. Okay. Oh, that actually wasn't too bad. So the bread was exactly... Okay. We only need one box. So we need one sugar, one pasta. Let's start with that. Uh, one pasta, one sugar, one cereal, two flour, um, one cereal, two bread, one oil, two bread, one oil. That's eight. And then one of each would be enough. Actually, two coffee and one tea. Um, so let's do the coffee first two coffee that's 10 because we can only order 10 and I'm gonna do the tea then with the fridge products okay and then we're gonna fix the prices in a second And then I think after that, we should be able to get ready to hire our first uh, uh, cash register person. Get the cereal up on the shelf. nice so bread sorted did somebody take a box was that the last oh i don't know how that box ended up in here but okay somebody must have flung it in okay so now we're fully stocked up on everything except tea and the fridge so we do that in a second so let me go over the prices that changed so pasta sugar 
coffee, milk is irrelevant because we have no price for it yet. So pasta, sugar, coffee. Pasta, sugar, coffee. So coffee is now at 9.15 plus 15%. So that's 10.50. So we're not going to make as much money on that anymore. So sugar is uh, 3.95 plus 15%. That's 4.50. Oh, we're going broke. We have to lower everything. And I think pasta was the other thing. Oh my God, that's even lower. That's 290 plus 15 percent, so that's three. Th oh my God, 330. Oof, that is radical. Wow. Okay, so um, we need. Let me get the T. We need two T, I think. Is it? No, just one T actually. So one T, and then fridge. We need. Let's see if we can get one of each. Okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. Excellent. We got two of each. So that means we can... Um, oh, what happened? Oh, the door. There. We can now put... Um, let's put the milk... I don't know. Here. Oh no! Oh my god, one box is like. Oh, Schweppes. Oh, okay, this is the same box size. Oh, I bought too much, I think. Crap. Ah. Oh. I thought one box was one shelf. This stupid door. Okay, here we have the eggs. Yeah, see, here is one box, one shelf. That's what I thought would be with the other ones as well. Ah, oh, damn it. What happened? Actually, do you know what? Um, I'm gonna make the cheese a thousand <laughs> and see if one person buys it. That would be a good check. Ah, oh, okay. God damn it. Yeah, that one. I have to leave it here. And one more box of cheese. Um, what me does it mean less customers will come in overall? So, like, say, for example, I make this uh, 50, yeah, $50, who cares, yeah, and yeah, sure, they're going to hate me for the cheese, but, you know, whatever. So, with the eggs, we're going to have a 3.98 plus 15%, so that's 4.55, so let's go to 4.50. Um, the water is going to be at 266 plus 15%, which is going to be 6, no, hang on, 266 plus 15%. It's 3, yeah, so let's put it down to 3. And the milk is going to be uh, 288 plus 15%, which is going to be 330. <clears throat> okay, perfect. And, oh, we have two more shelves there, so I guess we can put another milk there or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, Excellent. Let's open up. I think that's it.
Uh, it just means that everyone will hate you, which is not good for business. I don't know how it works in the game, but as far as I know, it trusts everything in the merchant private business. Uh, well, in the game, we'll see. If anybody buys cheese, that's great. <laughs> if just one person buys cheese, that, that that's wonderful. Let's see if any one person buys cheese. It would be interesting. God damn it. They always take their time. Come on, people. I have the best cheese. I have good, good cheese. I have diamond cheese. Okay, here we go. They're in for the cheese. They're in for the cheese. I mean, I wonder if there's like a 0.01% chance somebody will actually buy that cheese, you know? Okay, thank you very much. Here's your dollar change. Milk is too expensive. What? Milk is perfect. It's less than 15% markup. Oh, do we got a cheese? No, we didn't get a cheese buyer there. I'm very curious about that. Well, I'm expecting them all to say the cheese is too expensive, but I just want to see if there's a ch if, there, if only one person buys the cheese. Oh, look at you. Nice. If only one person buys the cheese, yeah, theoretically it means you could have one product that you can price up the ass, like a thousand, because there will always be a chance one person buying it. You know? But if it now impacts my overall customer flow, and overall I will see less customers, then yeah, that's a bad thing. But they can't really do that in the game without giving you some kind of charts, you know, where they see popularity of your shop and you can see the popularity starting to go down, you know. Um, like, you know, like in the in the 90s simulation games where you had like all the statistics, you know, how popular your stuff is in your shop and your location. And then it would make sense. But without those statistics, it would be it would be it would make no sense for the game to have those ty type of data responses. Uh, because you can't see it, you can't react to it, you know? Oh my god, yeah, I, I hate you so much. 45, 50. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, nice! And we got the double whammy on the T. Oh, there, 1640, very good. I'm gonna have to actually pay my bills here. Okay, electricity has gone up like uh, from $1.20 to $10. That's crazy. Nobody's buying any cheese. I wonder why. <laughs> cheese is too expensive. Okay, makes sense. Like I said, I just want to try it out and see if anybody would buy cheese. Or if everybody would. Because a lot of times people come in and there's that one person who goes... Oh, like, like the milk is too expensive. Yeah, okay, that was two, three people now, so maybe we should lower it by five cents, yeah? But in general, you will always have somebody complain about price, no matter what. And you could have it at half the price of the markup. Somebody will come in and still complain about the price. So, but as long as the people complaining about the price don't outweigh the people buying it. Yeah, but a lot of people seem to complain about the milk, but did I calculate this wrong? I mean, 288, because 15% is, I, I get away with 15% a lot. So 288 plus 15%, that's 330. So, okay, let's make it 325, I guess, or 20 and see if that makes a difference. Because a lot of people have complained about the milk, all right. The eggs are flying off the shelf. So again, I'm expecting a 0% chance uh, of selling any type of cheese. Somebody light a match. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea, Kona. That's, that's, yeah, cheese too expensive. I would expect that, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, not many people have bought coffee, I see. Um, I haven't seen... I have seen only one complaint about coffee, really, though, is it? Um, oh, 15, 10, okay. Yeah, maybe it's the day of the week that we don't have a lot of people for coffee, I don't know. Yeah, the coffee is not that expensive, really. Maybe, sometimes a product is just not being looked at, to be honest. Um, oh, did he get a cheese? Oh, I thought for a second there he took a cheese. It looked like he did. Yeah, so it seems some products, they complain a bit quicker. So... But also sometimes, yeah, it seems that for some products in, in a given day, they just don't go for that product. As, I mean, look at the bread. The bread, there was no complaints about being expensive. Just not a lot of people bought bread, I guess. Because I would assume the more products you have, people are not buying every single product in every shop, you know. So I would assume that one product might get neglected more than others. Cheese? Cheese? Oh. You struck me as a cheesy person. There we go. We're getting the coffee now. Um, 15.85. Oh, wow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten items. Holy moly. 57.60. I think that's a new record. The highest so far we had was 55. Very nice. Okay, the nine o'clock rush. Let's see. There should be two, three more people. And then, yeah, yeah, we're going to lower the cheese, obviously. I was just curious if any of the cheese had a chance to sell. Sell condoms at 1,000% markup, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, Franco. As you progress, your only metric will become what's left on the shelf, yeah. Okay, here we go, nine o'clock rush. Got to, got to get that tea in, you know. Like she's complaining about the oil being too expensive, but she, I think she's the only one today that complained about it. So that would not be a reason for me to lower the price at all, you know. So, okay. The profit wasn't as good. Now, cereal went down and sugar went up. So if we look at the cereal, cereal is 770 plus 15%, 885. So I might go down to 12%, um, something like that. So 770 plus 12% and keep it very close to the 12%, which would be 860. Um, and then what went down? Sorry, what was the other one? Pasta, was it? Um, sugar. Sugar went up. So with sugar, we have uh, 474 plus 12%, uh, 530. So. Okay, so with the cheese now, the actual price is 340 plus 12%. That would be 380. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, let's see. What is 915 um, plus 12%? That would be 1024. Yeah, 1025. That's fine. That should be okay. All right. Now we have to rearrange our shelves again. Um, Oh, didn't sell much water. Um, let me see. Let me fix the price on the water. 266 plus 12%. It's 295. So let's make that 295. Okay, let's fix the shelves. We didn't sell much coffee, so we should be okay for coffee. Oh, okay, 20. 
So you get one coffee, one tea. So one coffee, one tea, one coffee, one tea. And bread, let's fix the bread or whatever this box fits. There we go. Now we're only gonna get one sugar and one cereal. So one sugar, one cereal. And then bread and oil, let me see. One oil. One oil and one bread. One oil and one bread. And one flower. Oh, pasta. One flower and one pasta. Okay, is that it? I think so. And then in the fridge, oh yeah, the eggs and stuff. Let me see. Oh, what box do we need for that? I think it's this one. Um, yeah, we don't need cheese restock um, and one eggs, one box of eggs. There we go. Excellent. Let's pay the bills. And seeing that we have everything, we can open actually already. So now I can restock while open and um, if I would have a cash cashier that would be easier but at least I have things in the shelves so I don't have to worry about um, restocking. It's not like anybody's showing up until about half nine anyway. There we go. Hopefully today will be a better day. I like that there's no collision between the customers and the player. I really like that collision detection not being there. It makes this so much more enjoyable. Sorry guys, just one more thing to stock. Okay, they're saying the bottled water is expensive. They're complaining about everything. Okay, there we go. We have our first cheese sold. Um, 15, 16, 17, 18, and uh, 10. Okay, cheese is being sold now to 60, 50, 60. There we go. Oh, nice. That was good. 42, 65. Sixteen forty. You were a bit on the cheap side. You shouldn't come back to my store. There we go, 115. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, that, that this is looking much better now, actually. So yeah, the water, people hmm, complaining about the water. It's interesting. Oh my God, you're one of those people. You don't, you don't deserve anything less than this. Enjoy a change. OK, 
Okay, um, only one person has complained about the flowers so far, so I don't think I have to worry too much about that in the moment. Um. Oh, look at the twins here. Oh, we got actually some water. So water seems to be acceptable. It's just one or two people complained about it, really. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine items. Very good. You can come back anytime. Okay, very good. That's good money now. And we're nearly level 10 and then we can hire a cash cashier. Um, one, two, three, fifty, sixty, six. I wonder how much of a difference a cashier will make. Oh, nice. Cheese is flying off the shelf. Um... Um, Dappy Paints, uh, <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Drap, how are you? Happy St. Patrick's Day to you as well. Are you in town? Are you uh, enjoying the festivities? I I'm staying the hell away from town, to be honest. <laughs> Serial for one guy should see a doctor. Okay. Oh, look at that. We're getting busy. It's nice. Oh, look at the money. I think this is a good profit day. 84. Oh, nice. And it's, it's only 530. That is amazing. Okay. Actually, yeah, we're going to run out of some products, actually. Uh, coffee and tea still loads there. Oh, you no longer live in Dublin now. Oh, I didn't know that. If you told me before, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't didn't remember. Um, nine fifty. Oh. Wow, ten items. So uh, we haven't seen anything above ten items yet. But we had a thousand. That is amazing. <laughs> um, I forgot about that. Uh, close your box before you throw it out. Sometimes there are items left you can't see. Oh, okay. I usually just hold the button down and uh, hope for the best when I put them in the shelf, you know. But yeah, that's a good idea. Yellow snow, not okay. Green beer, okay. Absolutely, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, you're not the. Oh my god, I hate you so much. Wow, there was a lot of milk and coffee. 5240. That is great. You come back anytime. Thirty to thirty, very good. Look at that, we're over a thousand. So now we we are getting ready to hire that cash cashier, and we need a second fridge as well. That's for sure. Actually, we can put the second fridge already on the list. Fifty-five. There we go. Yeah, you like your aqua? Very nice. Oh, yeah, but I want to make more money, Adrian. So. Uh, <laughs> and to be honest, like, once you have a cashier, I don't have to worry about this anymore. 50, 60, 5, 1, 2, 3, uh, 50, 3, 1, boom, 95. 
Oh yes, get that coffee. That's that's good. Expensive. I wonder if you could survive in a store that just sells one item. Just have all those shelves full of coffee and the only thing you sell is coffee. Um, I know in a lot of classic simulation games like from like the the mid 90s and all that like you were able to actually do that. Um, because they didn't here the, the game seems to have the notion that once you have a license like all the items you can sell customers expect to find meanwhile in a lot of other games it's like they don't care what you have as long as what you have sells for good value <laughs> lemonade stand exactly yeah um, so I think we're close now no more no more nine o'clock rush okay so th this oh did we pay the bills I just want to make sure we paid the bills Um. yeah okay good now we can't buy anything after nine, that's fine. Um, so we're closing. So that was good, 31 satisfied customers. Only five found, yeah, screw those five people. So that is really good, that's a new record. The highest one before that was kind of 22, I think, or 23, I'm not sure. I haven't looked really in the other ones. So today was a very busy day. Um, milk, flour, and sliced bread. Uh, so sliced bread is at 475 plus 12%, which is 530. And then what was the other ones? Bread, flour, and milk, flour and milk. So flour, um, flour is 228 plus 12%, it's 255. Okay, make it 250, I guess. Keep it a little bit roundish and um, crap. I already forgot the milk. That's the other one. Milk uh, two thirty plus twelve percent. That's two fifty five. So two fifty. Oh my god! The price has gone down. What? No. Seriously? Oh yeah. I was just about to say yeah. Two fifty. Wow. That is crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to lower that below 255. Okay, so let's see what we need to do. Um, let's stack the shelves. I think if we can hire somebody to stack the shelves, that would be way more beneficial than a cashier. Okay. Yeah, we need loads of flour. Loads of flour was sold, actually. That's... Very interesting. Must have been a special event. Okay, that's it. We're fully stacked. Oh, yeah. The bottles. Oh. What box are they in? Are they in this? No. They're in this. Okay. So let's uh, throw the boxes here and get the um, shelves, the fridge. Let's get the fridge first. And then we'll see how we can. Um... Hang on. Here we go. Now, eggs. Um, the drinks have three yeah so what we do is three drinks yeah so we need one more pack and one more pack so one pack of milk and one pack of water so one milk and one water because that's for two shelves now with um eggs we want to go um four so oh let's go three first yeah let's go three um So let's get two eggs. Oh, products. 
um, two eggs and three cheese. Then we need two pasta. And one cereal. So that will be my first order. There we go. And eggs. There we go, three is enough, and we're gonna put that one here. Very good, we can throw that one out. And then the pasta. Now cheese I'm gonna put here in three uh, shelves because there's only nine cheese actually, which is a bit annoying um, that there's no more that fit in that shelf. I think it would be nice to have 12 in the shelf. Okay, and then, well, I suppose we can have an overflow of water here. It doesn't really matter, it's okay. Let's put that here and here. Okay, so I think um, now we need sugar, flour, tea and coffee and yeah, okay. Damn it. Actually, I can open the shop now and let them start coming in. So what do we need? Two flour, two sugar, two sugar, two flour, one oil, one bread, one tea, one coffee, one tea, one t coffee, one oil, one bread. There you go. Let's pay the bills. And now we should make enough money for um, a cash a ca for a hire. So if I have a cashier, yeah, then I can do this while they're making the, the money, which makes a lot more sense. Because I don't know how quick they are in stacking shelves, but I'm probably more control freak over stacking shelves than I am over a cash register. But you can always get a second cash register, I guess, where you can help out yourself manually. So oh, one coffee, seriously, you make me come over here for one coffee. Um. Okay, 43.35, very good. Um, there was a kid who got sued by company because the kid's website it was to close the name of the company. Oh my God. Oh, 10 items. Yeah, we still don't have the 11 items. One, two, one, two, three, there we go. Oh, just one water, seriously. If you would have given me you know, $100, I would have given you $100 in change in one sense. There we go. Now we can put a bit more stocking in. Yeah. Yeah, I think it definitely would bother me more to have my shelves not the way I want them than somebody being slow on the cash register.
There we go, nice. We're nearly at level 10. So how much does it cost actually to hire someone? <sighs> cashier, cashier. So, oh, a restocker, you can only do at level 15. Oh, wow. But you have to buy the storage first, which is 800. So they kind of force you to really get a cashier first. Metal don't ever bring a hundred dollar bill to cakes. No, I'm telling you, you give me a hundred dollar bill for um, something that costs like a dollar fifty or something, and I'm giving you a hundred dollar change like in one sense. Simple. Um, five, six, fifty. Okay. Very good. Ah, oh, this is stupid. So five, one, two, three, four. Enjoy a change, sir. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, we're nearly ten. We're nearly level ten. The fence. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, look at that! We got twelve items. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Oh, I thought it was twelve. Oh, okay. Very good. That's our first time over ten items. Fifty, twenty-five. Thirty-five, sixty. Okay, so now can I hire him midday? He costs what? Eighty hiring cost a hundred? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Oh my god, is he slow? Oh my god, he's so slow. <laughs> he's so slow. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is oh my god. So painful to watch. <laughs> okay, let me see. Can I buy um Oh, hang on a second. It's over here. Products, furniture. Sure, let's do it. Screw it. Can I walk through here? Ah, oh, just about. Hello? This cash rich says open. Wow. Okay. You see how I'm doing this, Johnny? See how I'm doing this, Johnny? You suck. Okay. Can't believe I have to pay wages for you. <laughs> oh my god. You're growing old watching him. Oh, the light came on properly. Nice. It actually doesn't look as gloomy over there. Uh, <laughs> don't look at him. You will fire him. I know. Why is nobody coming to me? Everybody's like, oh, this guy's so nice and slow and sexy. How he takes all my items and slowly puts them in the bag. Um, uh, one, two, three, zero, five. There we go. They're all standing on his side. It's like, oh, my God, why? Um... Did I not tell you, games that it would be incredible slow? It's like, yeah, I know, but we have to buy one, like, because I, I think what happens is, um, hopefully they come to me and not to him more. We have to rearrange stuff, I think. Um, well, I can still fit here, I guess, so. Um, the good thing is I can actually worry about my shelves now. Um, I guess. But, okay, hang on a second. Is anybody coming to me? Why are they all queuing on his side? Why are they not queuing on my side? What is wrong with me? It's not that bad. Um, no, I'm not paying him by the hour. He gets paid um, a daily rate, I think. Uh, 
There we go. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Why did I have to hire the only 70 year old cashier? Okay. Oh, I can actually fit through here. That was good placement. I'm amazing. Um, <laughs> okay. So we now have to do something with the fridges, though, because I think the fridges might be in the way now of customer stuff. So let me think about that. Yeah, let me close for the day first. Um, tea, oil, and cheese. Tea, oil, and cheese. So cheese is at 344. So that should be now... Um, actually leave it at 380 it's fine um, oh crap yeah we're gonna have to move this guy somewhere okay we, we need a bigger we need a bigger boat let me see. Okay, we're gonna need to expand soon just at least from the size um yeah with the two cash registers we need to definitely expand i can put one here and then can we turn it around no we can't oh is there actually a different size oh shit i never noticed that oh no i would need this one ah oh, okay Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Um, or we could change them around. We could turn them around slightly. Okay, let me just put the boxes out here for a second. So I think this one... Ugh, we can turn it around like here. Hang on. No, that doesn't work either. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I like that you can at least do it, you know? Okay. Fair enough. I still can reach everything. Okay. So now shelves. How are we going to uh, organize this? The fridges, I think, will be in the way here of the customers. I don't think we have a choice. For the moment, we have to leave it as is, I think. Okay. Let me... Um... Let me arrange the prices first for the things that went up. And I can restock while he's doing the money. So cheese, we already checked. Oil and oil and tea. Tea, ooh, might make more money with tea. 640 plus 12%. That's 715. So let's go. Oh, 12%. 715. Yes, thank you. That is awesome. And then the oil. It's going down to 399 and 445. Okay. Yeah, ah. let's just open this door and I do the restocking while we do that. Because he can do the ding 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 and I can do the restocking, which is great. Okay, so let me get the boxes here. Um Oh, we have no milk at all, actually. Um, yeah, we need milk straight away. 
milk and let me get this i should have probably done a little bit of organization first that's biting me in the ass now Crap. Here we go, put that in there. Um, milk, we need two milk, no, one milk, two milk, and one water, and there we go. Yeah, I think I could. I mm, yeah, that's annoying now. Oh, there was still a bread in there. the milk I'm making myself so much work right now I ah, screw you here you go an extra 20 cents I don't care I don't have time for this um yeah let me go Um, I should have just done the shelf first. Ah, oh, god damn it. They all know I'm faster, that's why they're coming to me. Well, keeps me busy, I guess. Uh, Kenny, how are you? You might. <laughs> um, I used them to. Hang on a second. Um, what do I miss? Um, you need zero spaces to exit. Yes. <laughs> Put the clerk outside. Strangely enough, grocery stores actually do that. It's called facing the shelves. Uh, Hidden truth that games miss a super chat. Did I miss a super chat? Oh, I'm so sorry. If I did, my apologies. Let me see. No, I think I got all of Kona's. Thank you so much. Oh, Kona, actually, you did another one. You're crazy. Thank you so much. Um, uh, did I not tell you games that would... No, I did. I did read this out. Thank you so much. I did. I don't think I missed any. I, I did read them all out. But very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, and I got uh, uh, H2Os as well. Um, Franco, hi, Kenny. How are you? Sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure. This is stressing me out now. This is new stress levels. Hang on. <laughs> I should have just stocked up first. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea to stock up later. Toby, how are you? There we go. Nice. Okay. So, we're, we're, we're back back to normality, I think. Okay, so oh, sugar. I need sh I need sugar and pasta. Okay. I can't wait to have a storeroom. We need eight hundred for a storeroom. That's gonna be the lifesaver. Um. Oh my God. Fifty, sixty, seventy, ninety. Oh crap! Too much. Um. Ten. One. Ah crap! Here you go. Extra twenty cents. Don't care. Um. Beautiful. Okay. Good. Ah, <sighs> now, how much do we need for our storage? Storage, 800. Let's buy it. Bomb. End of story. I just bought it. Where is it? Where's my storage? Oh. Oh, my God. I thought I can reach my storage from here. Oh, no. I saw, I saw Cage play this, and he had storage going through the door here. 
God damn it. Okay. So we need storage shelves as well. Um, let me see. Uh, let's get one small rack and see what that looks like. Oh, okay. Oh, I have no more coffee. Loads of people bought coffee today. Holy crap. Oh, you need to expand for the door. Oh, that sucks. Oh, Kona, no, no, no worries. No, I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. Um, you, you, you can also just do a chat with, with etting me. It's absolutely not needed, but I always appreciate it. Thank you. Um, oh, lights. Yeah. What happens if we don't have the lights on? Will customers just not come in? Or, I mean, I don't mind not having lights, you know, on. Yeah, so I'm a little bit, I, I wasn't good organized. I started off very organized and I kind of got myself into a little bit of a, a state because I, I rushed, I rushed. I should have just not rushed. Oh my God. Okay, that's it. We're nearly nine o'clock. So let me get the package here and see. Well, let's do it on this side, I guess. Um, okay. Yeah, we are out of loads of things, so I'm gonna have to start Buying one of each, really. Um, okay, milk and tea. It's going to have to come after. I mean, it, it does help to have him there, even though he's slow, it does help. Because we, we do check out a lot of people quicker together. And he's much faster in actually doing the money part. Yeah, okay, so let's close up after he's gone through. Um, bills. Did we have all the bills? Excellent. So I must be paying him the wages automatically, I think. So yeah, let's be a bit more organized. 26, found, not found. Yeah, that's very good. Okay. Um, tea, coffee, and cereal. So tea... Five twelve. Um oh my god, that went downhill. Five seventy five and cereal is still got some cereal, there we go. Seven eighteen. eight and then the coffee okay so let's order that first one of each and then we also need this and this holy moly
and this one we have to actually keep here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually, um, I wonder, it would be nice to close a tail. That's one of the features I hope he's going to add because in the moment, if I want him to do all the work on the tail for now, in the beginning, until it gets busy, I need to literally pack up this tail and then open it up when it gets busy. So it would be good to have an option here where you can say close till, like C, whatever. I don't care, whatever the button is, yeah? So that would be a lot better way. you can basically make sure that customers don't choose that till. Very good. Okay, we're definitely well stocked now with bread. Now cereal. And then we'll see what else we need. We need to properly get stocked up. Um, oh my God, this stupid door is so annoying. We have no sugar at all. That is crazy. that box here. Yeah. I needed to keep that box because I accidentally threw one out. And um, can you check the computer because I think you can just buy a storeroom. Yeah, I did just buy a storeroom for 800. Yeah. I, I just did that. So that's that's the one here. Um, and I can put some shelves in. So what I can do is I can uh, start stacking leftover like this. So um, Oh crap, hang on. Um, yeah, the problem is that, so we have eight water here, for example. Yeah, now um, without a storage person though, this is gonna be very difficult to manage, I think. Okay, so now we definitely need more coffee. How much money can we still spend? Um, we need two more coffees. And we need another cheese and another eggs. Let's start with that. And more cheese and then coffee and another coffee oh this door i really wish i could just remove this friggin door i keep running into it for some reason So do we have enough? We need um, two more cereals and three more sugar. Sorry, that was a mess I made because I didn't pay attention earlier. And two more cereals. Oh, that's not enough money. So let's take one more sugar out. Yeah, let's open up. There you go. Holy crap, so this should be much better now. Um, I can hopefully stay on top of things um, easier now. And yeah, we need cheese. Um, <coughs> we need another pasta. We have the cereal. And we need another oil. 
Oh, did I adjust the coffee prices? No, I don't think I did. 10, um, 98. So that should be actually at 12.25. Go. nice um how much do i need 136 there we go bomb purchased now i can do this while he's doing the cash register now the problem is i have to pack up the cash register but hopefully people will go to him and not me that is so stressful it's supposed to be a nice relaxing game <laughs> There we go, that's enough. Nice. Okay, and one more. Very good. Okay, good. Now I think we're caught up again, which is nice. Yeah, it would be good to get some cheese going straight up. Cheese. Five eighty. There we go. And get one more egg as well. We have enough drink. And one pasta and one sugar. Five, six, forty. There we go. I don't know if stocking shelves during the day is normal, but um, I guess um, the storage part I have to figure out because without a person actually working on storage, I don't know how easy this is to keep this. Uh, you know, to keep moving things around from storage to here. Oh, they're all queuing on my till now. Bollocks. They all have learned how slow he is. That's very good. Exact change. Thank you. Beautiful. Give me that card. There we go. Nice. There we go. No, there we go. Okay, so looking good, looking good. Less stress now. Thank you. Oh, nice. Ancient Smith, you're welcome. Oh, milk, yeah. Good, I think this is slowly getting back to normality <coughs> okay 825 oh wow 
5425, lovely. Twenty three, that's okay. I love it, the new high coffee prices and people are still buying coffee. Actually, I don't need the lights. Screw that. It's not like people are complaining about the lights. I don't need lights. You guys can see what's going on. Just put a 10 items or less over to the old man. Yeah. We're saving on electricity. That's great. So let me actually see. Is the bills... Yeah, there we go. I suppose the fridge costs electricity as well. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay, we turn the light on a little bit. I can't see anything. Franco, um, thank you for the $5. Just checked inside. Doors, door opens at third storage upgrade. So don't be shocked when it doesn't open on the second. Oh, man. Seriously? That sucks. It would have been nice if it starts actually in here that the first one would give you a room in here. And that the outside door would be something that would be later on coming because I think it's more convenient to have the outside door. So having the inconvenience of, of this year first kind of makes more sense. And well, yeah, we, we need to be level 15 for a restocker though. So level 15 for restocker. And holy crap, I suppose. And yeah, but we get, yeah, you get section two and three before you get the restocker, I guess. <coughs> um, one, two, three, and 25, there we go. Perfect. So we actually did end up making good money. So before I'm going to start the next day, let me um, reorganize my shelves here to make sure that we have everything in order. Oh, okay. Bread is not really something we sell a lot for uh, a lot of anymore. Oh, sorry. Where's the other box? I had one more box. Did I throw it out? Oh my god, I must have thrown it out. That's terrible. Yeah, I must have thrown it out. Okay. Yeah, we need one cheese, one milk. Okay, yeah, we got I need the box for this. Ah, crap. I messed it up. Loads of oil sold today as well. Okay, let's finish the day. 34 customers. So this was much better. We made uh, 903 income only. Last The highest we have had was 1,000. But, oh my God. Eggs, cereal, pasta, and cheese. Eggs, cereal, pasta, and cheese. Eggs. Three, three, four. So that's going to be, oh my God, 375. Pasta. It's, it's 321 now. So actually that went up. So 360. Cereal and cheese. Cereal and cheese. Three thirty and cereal is at five nine six. So that's at six. Oh wow. That took a dump. 
That took a real big dump, the cereal. Uh, I didn't use the storeroom until I had money for both upgrades. I just stuck boxes. Yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense. Um, I wonder, is it enough to actually have just this guy working here? No, no, no. So let's see if he's enough, okay? And we can always open this up if it becomes a problem. But it means I can focus here on doing these things. We need, we're missing a box. Um, what type of box are we are missing? Um, I think it's this one. Yeah. But we need one sugar anyway. Um, one sugar powder. At least. Because there's 10, 11, 12... 12, 24, 48, and we have 10, 20, 30, 31. Yeah, okay, one is enough. Um, I need the box. I can't function without the box. I can't count properly if I don't have the box. because I have to fix the milk. Okay. <sighs> no, we need also to fix the cereal, yeah. Okay, that's all done okay so um to start the day we need one more pasta let me see the bills first of course um always pay the bills first market so pasta two flour one cereal two flour one cereal one cereal Two flour, one bread, two oil, two oil, one bread, and one coffee and one tea. Actually, have two coffees. Okay, excellent. Now open the store, let him do his thing, and because he's the only cash register open now, I should be able to just purchase now. That should be it. Um, oh man, doctor. Yes, absolutely. When the prices are the lowest, stocking up makes sense, but I'm not going to be able to keep track of that. That's not going to happen. Uh, Kim, how are you? Greetings back to Germany. So um, him being the only till open now should give me a little bit of time to focus on stocking up. And then... Oh, I thought we still had some stuff here left. Okay, so let me open this now. Oh, 
Why can't I not open it? Oh, because of the boxes? Oh, there we go. There was... Uh, there we go. So now we don't have to worry about anything in stock, I think. Like we have milk, we have water, we have cheese. We might need to order some cheese. What what are you saying the cheese is expensive? Like are you crazy? 296. Yeah, it's 330. That's that's perfect. Um in this game you're so busy keeping shell Yeah, it's it's so it's crazy like um and it gets really stressful later. I was watching Cage yesterday for a little bit, and he already has a big store. <clears throat> uh, he he has everything flowing quite nicely now, but I think until you get to that part where everything is flowing nicely, it's just crazy. Like, I'm terrified buying a new license and adding some more products to my shelves. I'm, I'm just, was, was out having the storage. I'm, I'm just, that's, that's crazy. I think you need... Um, to be able to hire a storage person first before you before you expand um i ah, screwed here's five cents um so i think i don't want to expand further like no shop size of the shop yes um this yeah absolutely we expand our shop that's no big deal yeah but what i'm saying is we need to hire a restocker first before i am gonna put more products on my shelves I, I just think that's crazy. What do you mean your eggs are expensive? Why are you complaining about eggs? Oh my god, I hate you. Um, the eggs are fine. There's 334. Yeah, 375 is perfect. That's 12% markup. That's 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 okay. We can we get away with 15%. So I'm even way below what I get away with. And shelves are looking good. Nothing is majorly sold out. Okay. Oh, water. Yeah, that's not good. We might need to get... Um, um, get some water and milk in here. Okay, so eggs, cheese, we need some more cheese. And um, perfect. So yeah, this is much smoother now. So we're fully stocked up, we nearly. Um, I just have to reorganize the shelves to make sure that everything is, um, you know, stacked up. I wonder if it would be worth it to have a quality of life update um, uh, ability to crunch shelves. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know what you would call that. But um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, say, for example, if you have labels on these three, these four shelves have labels. Yeah, because they all have the same label. If I would have an option here that says um, merch, yeah, or something, and that would just basically start merging everything into single shelves as much as it can, yeah, um, unless a restocker could do this, because it's very hard to see like this how much you have left without manually restocking, uh, like merging your shelves together. 
because I guess what people end up doing is like um, I'm going to end up doing then just getting one whole shelf for per product, you know, which obviously would be a bit of a waste of space because why would you do that? Yeah, but it means I can it, this is it will become harder to keep track of things, I guess. But with the restocker, this might not be an issue. So we actually did well today, I think. Even though I had to purchase water um, because we were running out of water, the cheese looks good. Um, we are nearly out of cheese. So that actually was not bad. So I think, yeah, we need four, four, four cheese, four. We need four of everything. I think four is the magic number here. Having four shelves full of anything, including in the fridge, is just really where the magic number hits. Very good, thank you so much. 1685, um, 16, um, there you go. And that's it, beautiful. Um, hi chat, we've been, um, we've been going for three hours, 70 people watching, only 24 likes. Um, oh, we had 50 likes. Listen guys, I'm, I'm gonna actually have to stop right now as well. Um, so apologies for that, but um, yeah, I'm gonna. At the time, I didn't even realize the part. The time, my throat is actually fine, so I'm surprised I was able to talk that long. Um, so yeah, yeah. The, so the surgery seems to have nothing on me. I'm just super healer. <laughs> no, but uh, we may or may not stream later tonight. Um, again, something else. But um, this game, I definitely. If there's interest, I will definitely do another stream just to see if we can. Um, uh, let me just fix the egg price before I forget it, and just before to see if we can get the restocker in because i think the restocker will be a game changer um at least i hope so so this is um we're here at 352 plus 12 percent so 390 394 so 395 that would be good um ah, okay fine 390 you know be a little bit more generous and yeah so I, I think we're doing okay so we just we have enough money to restock everything now, which is exactly what you want before the day starts. So we can um, probably, I would say, move the eggs over here and have cheese and eggs over here and then just have this full fridge full of milk and, and water. That's it. Um, and then just have cheese and uh, eggs in this one and then stock up these shelves here. And I think we should be easily getting enough money then to increase storage to um, hire the restocker. We definitely have enough money for all of that then. So, and um, yeah. So, and then we're gonna go from there and we're gonna buy the next license, which is gonna be chaos because as soon as you have the first next license, you're gonna have to make sure that your store is big enough to carry the new product. So we're gonna have to pre-purchase all the space and the shelving as well before we uh, uh, get the new license so that we don't end up in complete chaos again. So I'm gonna leave this day here. We're gonna continue right from here next time. It's crazy. I didn't even feel the time fly by generally, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's absolutely right. You always think, let's do one more day. Let's do one more day. Yeah. So, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, very much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you, We're going to have do probably another stream, at least one, and see how we get on. And if you could leave a like on the way out, that would be appreciated. And I'll see you guys later or latest tomorrow with another stream. And um, have a good weekend. And until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.